everyone, this is Stephanie Gold here, and I'm so excited to be here for my very first Make It Monday video with Paper Clayton. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a windowed sentiment in your card, and we are going to start by using the die Thank You from the most recent release in March that went with the Coordinating Ways to Say Thank You stamp set. What we're going to do is we're just going to use that die and put it right through your card base, right on top, exactly where you prefer your sentiment. And then you're going to take the cutout part and just kind of throw it to the side. Next, we're going to use Rosie Posy stamp set, and we're going to use the largest flower. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to stamp right onto our card base. And we're going to go right over top of the cut sentiment that we just die cutted. I'm using Berry Sorbet ink, and I'm going to stamp the flower, I believe, twice, right over top. You can, of course, stamp it however many times you'd like to get the effect you're looking for. Once we have both of the large flowers stamped, we are going to use the smallest flower and we are going to stamp it in a tropical teal ink. After our two small flowers are stamped, I'm going to use the large leaf from Rosie Posey and I'm going to stamp it in spring moss ink next to all of the larger flowers. And once our large leaves are all stamped, we're going to use the smallest leaf and we're going to stamp it right next to our tropical teal teeny flowers in Simply Chartreuse Ink, which is one of my absolute favorite colors. And I love the way it looks next to the tropical teal. Blues and greens are some of my favorite color combinations. So then once we have our flowers stamped out, we are going to get our polka dot, uh, I believe this is uh, polka dot basics, excuse me. This is polka dot basics and we're going to use the thin strip of polka dots and we are going to stamp them in soft stone ink right over top of our flowers to add a little bit more texture to our card. I decided to put the polka dots on an angle this time to again accent a little bit more the miniature cascade of the flowers. And then we're going to take some craft card stock and we're going to die cut the exact same sentiment out of it five times. Once they're all die cut, I'm going to use some liquid glue and I'm going to glue each piece on top of each other to create a chipboard effect. Once our little chipboard pieces are all set, we're going to fold over our card base, getting it ready to be an actual card. 
And then we are going to take that same liquid glue and we are going to glue our sentiment right through the window we made, but onto the inside of our card. A good tip when you're doing this is to just make sure that none of the edges of your window are sticking to your little chipboard pieces when you're gluing so they don't accidentally glue together. You want to be able to have that top piece of your card be able to open and close without getting stuck. So once the glue dries, that's it and you are all done. Thank you all so much for tuning in with me. Again, this is Stephanie Gold with Paper Cure Eve, and it was such a blast being with you today. Mm -hmm.